Uh, hello there. I didn't prepare. Well, I tried, but the words just wouldn't fly. I sat there and thought, that was my first mistake, you see. I mean, do you really think a poem works that way? If we are poets, does that mean we sit down and write poems? No. Right? We sit down and feel, and we take the feelings that we felt, and we let them flow, not through ourselves, but through the paper. Sometimes, though, the words just don't go. Now, you can argue with me and say it's not supposed to be, yeah, yeah, bite me. But you see, a poem is the heart, quite literally. To its writer, it's gold, and that's an understatement. You see, without the writing, the writer is lost. He has no room to breathe and no reason to be. And when he does write his poem, his song is, and his song is quite through, do you really think for one moment he sat down and wrote? If you do, I'm sorry to say you're wrong. If he sat down, great. If not, so what? He felt, and that's what counts. His soul he put out on top of this pillory. You may know it as society for all of you to judge, but it's not a poem he put there. No, it's his heart, his soul. Now I stand here on my own personal pillory. You are all waiting to see that maybe, just maybe, be something great could come to be. But no, you're wrong, because see, I didn't write a poem. All you had hoped, as you had all hoped, I didn't sit down and think like you may have thought. But what I did do is this. I came up here, emotions on fire, and I spoke. I spoke the truth, and even though it may only be my truth, it is still said. And that's what matters. So to all of you non-believers and all you naysayers, I leave you with these words. A true poem, a true poem cannot be forced. It must be kindled, and when the time is right, even if all seems wrong, never hold back. Because if you do, you'll be stuck at that desk with nothing left to prove. Thank you.